the start of the year, we had a big group of kids come to the school from an Indigenous community. We did a circles training day and the staff could immediately see the value in using circles as a means of levelling the playing field. This school is a school for us, all together as a student body, not the kids who are here and that group of kids who've come. So the circles were used to welcome everybody, to find out what we had alike and what we were different. And within two weeks, you couldn't tell who'd been here at the school before and who'd just come in new. So powerful. You're talking in the third person so that it's a safer way for children to address some of those bigger issues. Circles are more solutions based. So you're not talking about the problem, you're talking about the way that you want to be and not just be now, but be in the world. We're equipping our kids with the skills of getting along, the skills of choices, the skills of doing the right thing, of compassion, of empathy to other people. So through the circles, we're delivering that language of social positives and it's going through at every level. Circles are effective because everyone is on the same level. Everyone participates equally. Everyone has the power of choice to pass or contribute. And I think they're done in such a beautiful, non-threatening way that all of the kids see it as a positive experience. Since introducing circles at our school, I've noticed our children are calmer, our children are happier, and they're starting to use the skills that they're learning each week in their circles. You see the evidence of it in the playground. It's had a positive influence on our school. I like doing circles because it's fun and exciting to do and you get to experience other things. You get to share your interests and the way that you feel about things. I've experienced tough situations and it's helped me to get through those situations. So it's really good. We do all different activities that help us. So that we're learning how to deal with stuff while having fun. Circles have helped probably nearly all of us because we get to express our feelings and say how what we think about each other and that probably helps everyone get to know each other and get along. I like being in a circle because we can learn about each other. When we play some games, we learn about each other. Which places, if you have ever asked someone to join in a game, you are correct. As teachers we know that the children who do well in life are the children who learn to control their emotions, not just be emotion driven, but to control them and have that ability to think or analyse, to not make situations worse. And Circle addresses all those things, not just emotions, but just dealing with life. It's pre-arming children and trying to give them skills before an incident happens. Good teachers know that if I solve the problem for the children, the children haven't actually learnt any skills. Circles is a way where children can learn by participating and thinking about issues. It's not dealing with incidents that have happened in the playground or in the classroom, it's giving them strategies and using games, role playing, etc. So that when something does happen, they've got something to fall back on, a strategy. You've got a problem or conflict? There are two different ways of thinking. What's this one? Cool headed thinking. Cool headed thinking. What's this one? Thinking. Circles is about building culture, it's about enabling kids to see themselves as part of a community and that the part that they play within that community is very much in their own hands and that they have the influence to impact on that community whether it be positively or negatively. I think for our school we were looking for something that was proactive in building culture and building student capacity, particularly in terms of intrinsic behaviour and attitudes, and uh, already we're starting to see some of the positive outcomes with respect to that. Teachers are embracing it, kids are embracing it, and there's a genuine sense across the whole school that what we're doing is on the right track. The impact that I notice the most is when kids say the most perceptive things about other children that they want to acknowledge and they want to share. And the manner in which they do it is just lovely, it's beautiful. If they can stay like that, they'll be very happy, successful human beings.
And they're the kids who are the rough and tumble out there, rough and tough in the playground, yet they'll articulate something so beautifully. And it means so much to the other kids. So when you see that, they're the really moments that make it very worthwhile. It takes practice and skill, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. It's fun though, and it allows the kids to see you in a totally different light. The issue might be bullying, but we don't present it as bullying in circles, we present it as how to be a good friend. I think that's the biggest thing they're learning without actually realising what they're learning, and that's a huge thing. And it's just so nice teaching where they're smiling. Not like, oh gosh, here's a piece of paper again, another booklet. They're loving it. The kids want it. They're excited. As soon as they're in a circle, they're literally almost sitting forward waiting to see what's happening next. Everyone's equal. Even the really loud children can only be loud when it's their turn. And that's huge because there's so many students, I think, that get lost under the radar. This gives them equal time as you go around the circle. If it's in a pair share, they may talk to a really confident child they would not normally speak to. The unpopular child, because we structure the circles to make sure it's safe for them. The unpopular child, and there's some in each group over time, they get accepted. Circle Solutions is a pedagogy based on very definite principles. It's extremely important that teachers are trained in the pedagogy so they understand what it is that they're doing. And the principles, I think, are key to any good society or any good community. And it's about teaching students a way of being, a way of behaving appropriately within a group so that they learn appropriate interactions with other students with adults whoever's participating in the circle. We continually refer back to the guidelines because without doing that, without participating in the circle according to the principles, we risk it becoming therapy. I've heard from teachers saying you know, how much they've learnt about their students in such a short time, in such a non-threatening way, that they see them in a different light and I think that that really then encourages our teachers to think so much more about teaching the student and not teaching the subject. starts from the top and if all staff are practicing circles with their students and with one another it improves relationships with one another. It is really important to be trained correctly. It's important because you're staying true to the philosophy behind circles. It's important for the students to see their teacher fully engaged with them, that the teacher is also seated in that circle, that you are all together in that space, in that moment. You are permitting yourself to be vulnerable like the children and they can perhaps hear your experiences. We want that whole person to develop in self-confidence, in self-esteem, but being able to relate to others with sensitivity and with compassion and with lots of humour. Humour is so important. It loosens up your bodies to, to speak and to open up your heart. It's designed to be fun. We all like having fun. Even when something is serious, it can still be fun. When I visit classrooms, I see children who are engaged, enthusiastic about learning. I also see happy teachers. I see teachers enjoying what they're doing. I think if you're a school that values pro-social behaviour, values participation of your students, values student engagement, values student enjoyment, you can't go wrong.